Okay, let's see what we got. Basically, we're gonna throw this guy into test mode. Throw it in. You know, I do all this, but uh, three is get my Bocker. and then yeah, guy. So what am I doing? Switch mode, duh. Okay, so the first one is that. Second one is that guy. So what we're gonna do? We're going to take that part. Gotta sit down for a second. Okay. So we disconnect that guy, and the pop, uh, the uh, cup is attached up there. I'm gonna move that guy out of the way. Let's see which one is popped up back here. We've got the top one. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it over, and then it should be fine. We're gonna disconnect the little guy down here for the cup. Restranded up into one of these guys up here from the front. So, after we do that, it should be fine. We'll be able to test the mechanisms right here, because the same mechanisms that down there is right here and up in here. But I gotta move this guy over with the motion test. Okay, so with this, what you'll do is you take your gun, fire it, actually, duh. Let's see what we got. This guy's gonna go back up in here. Fire it up in here. So we plug it into the top and it's taken up. Unclip this guy. Put this guy up in here. So now we have the sensor that's in the cup plugged into the sensor up there. It does not matter. We'll be using, hey, but we're going to be using the cup as a, see? So we now confirm that that PCB for that guy is good by using the sensor that we know is good in the cup. Because we disconnect that, this little guy is not covering up. So, do the same for the bottom one. Make sure it's all covered up. And if the if your uh, droppers work or whatever, then you know it's the sensors. And the sensors, I would it would be down to the sensors at that point. Um, if that does not work, and the sensors are scratching, because sometimes they'll hit these these uh these metal pieces and they'll scratch the top of it. What I did before, because I was doing it on my second machine over here. Um, I bent the system downward right there by this piece. I just bent it downward so it wouldn't scratch this. And then I used off bug spray. Any type of mosquito repellent will help for scratches. And you just do it on there, wipe it off, do it again, wipe it off, and then do it a few more times. And that's what got those sensors up there to start working again. Technically, that one. But that's what I would do, just test them with that. So using the bottom sensor, using that, bam, bam. Um, if they're scratched, you'll be able to see a little chip on the top of them. If that doesn't work and the sensors are still broken, I would check your line, see if it's all the way good, all the way across, make sure everything's cupped in right here, all that black. And then, but if your PCD's not working, there's a certain part on it that I would like you to look at. There's $6 through uh, uh, Speedy's One Stop, and it is, there's gonna be, you can't really see it because I don't have any light. Uh, let's see if I can find it up here in the top. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so there's this guy right here. This is the, uh, it's a Micro Henry, I don't know what type. There's $6 through um, SOS, and those normally, if this is not firing the solenoid, that's the problem right there. And it's the same thing for up here. Same dude. If it's not working, it's that guy. Um, I would test out your uh, 
your box right here, the square one in the back, make sure that everything's secure. Make sure your solenoids are good. Um, normally there'd be a solenoid thing. And also test everything in the back down here. Make sure all your components are plugged in correctly. I had this guy, I had the connections over here, and this guy, and this guy going bad. I literally had one prong missing on the, uh, the fuse up here because it was on the top of it. It was making this guy go bad. I just go follow the color coordinations. But um, just make sure everything's plugged in. Make sure this guy's good, that guy's good, and then you should be fine for everything. Um, if it's still not good after that, those are what I do first. Is normally if you test the test with the bottom one that you know is correct with the top ones, I would say it's a scratch. But after that, just I would have to think about it. But yeah, see you.